Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sumaya. In this video, we are going to learn placement of furniture. We have many options for furniture placement, but in this video, we are going to learn simple method of adding it. Make sure you watch this video till the end so that you don't miss any information. So let's get started. To place any furniture, we have a tool in the dialogs called furniture and objects. Uh, you can place the furniture by using this option so once you click it you can find active object click on select some basic shapes like cube extrusion volume frustrum hemisphere sphere and other basic options next you have catalogs if you open the option of object catalogs here you can find object files like in home furniture, office furniture, sanitary, shop design, outdoor planning, street planning or any additional furnitures. So let's go back to our drawing. Let's go to the plan view. So here I have a formal dining room where I have a dining table, kitchen island and some living area. First I'm going to start with the dining area. I'm going to place dining table and this chairs. So how we are going to do is select under catalogs you can find home furniture under home furniture you can find tables select any table of your choice let me select this one click on the icon to select it and then apply you can see the preview of the table you have selected here then place the object and drop it with a click so you can see now the object is placed you can rotate it using this rotate option this is a tool to move it select and move it you can also scale it using this tool we will just scale it as per our AutoCAD file now this is my table let's go and check in the side view so you can see this is a table I can even change the height it's showing here 0.75 and this is fine for me Let's see in the 3D view. So you can see I have placed my table here. For now, we'll just add some texture to it. Okay. We'll select any of the material. I think this will go well. Apply it. And you can replace the material. And for the bottom one also, I'll keep it as wood, but I'll change the reflection factor. I'll make it 30 and reflective coating as 0. Reflective coating is nothing but the glossiness. So once you give it a 0, it means this particular material is not going to have any glow in it. So my table is placed. I'm going to place some chairs here. Go back to your objects. Select object catalogs under home furniture chairs and you can select any of the chair you need mm, let us select the simple chair apply it go back to your drawing and just place it so here it's placed you can see here i need to arrange the chairs in a row like in a row there are four chairs what i can do is my chair is already selected i'm going to come down here copy and arrange copy along the line okay so from here i need to start it so i'll just set one point i'm going to end here it is asking me the quantity i need to place i'll make it four and i will say follow curve shape rotation i don't want anything for now let's see how it comes when we, when we keep it zero degrees and then apply so you can see my chairs have been properly placed um i think i need to change the orientation Let's check it out in the drawing. Yes, we need to change the orientation. Just select rotate. And you can change the rotation. So you can see my chairs are placed. For this side, it's simple. You can just select this one. Control C. Control V. Take this chairs here. Rotate it. And just adjust it you can delete this previous chair and you can arrange it properly 
so this is it guys this is how you place furniture it's a simple method of placing furniture in dialogues you can find the library files there are other methods too we can make our own custom furnitures i'm going to show you that in the next video so make sure you watch the next next tutorial so where i'll be making this kitchen island as a custom design if you like this video give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to explore more in the dialogues thank you